Welcome to Francesco's Kitchen. Uh, today we have a surprise for you. A friend of mine just dropped a nice wild caught Alaskan salmon. And we're gonna kind of improvise a little bit. Uh, uh, we, uh, we are going to use some wheat beer. We are going to use some panko, Japanese breadcrumbs. So we'll uh, deep fry it and prepare it with the side of uh, risotto uh, all'italiano. We start with the batter. I did a little. We'll start putting some wheat beer. Oh, look at this. Very nice. And the batter, you want to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Uh, what you do, because it's a big batter, beer batter, you want to just let it raise a little bit, and it will take about maybe like five minutes. In the meantime, we can uh, start the procedure for the risotto. We get a skillet, nice and hot, with the extra virgin olive oil, and we start sauteing a little bit of red onion. Risotto traditionally is a northern of an Italian uh, dish. Uh, comes from the region of Emilia Romagna, or La Bassa Padana, which is between Emilia Romagna and uh, uh, Lombardia, close to Milan. We wanted to season everything. Always the taste, a little bit of salt, a little bit of white pepper. Now the secret for risotto is uh, saffron. Saffron is a, a real expensive spice. It comes from either Spain or Morocco. And uh, it's about $100 an ounce. So this is pretty much gold in the kitchen. It's the most expensive spice in the world. Uh, it's used both for flavoring, uh, most of them it's for coloring. It'll give a reddish, a yellowish, reddish uh, color to the uh, rice itself, once the rice is cooked. We have the rice going, and we're just gonna gently pour a little bit at a time. We give a nice coating, and we'll kinda saute them a little bit. The secret of making risotto is once everything kind of gets a little transparent throughout, you can start adding the liquid, which first you can add some uh, white wine. Okay, we let it toast a little bit longer. You add a little bit of rice. Uh, to the rice, you, the wine, and you can see that it's already starting to turn yellow. Okay, once the alcohol is evaporating, Okay, we'll add uh, whatever stock you have. You can have uh, veal stock, you can do chicken stock. I like to use vegetable stock because there's a lot of vegetarian in the restaurants as well that come in and they just want uh, anything with uh, uh, just vegetable. They don't like meat products, so. so. Here we go. Okay, you put it in a simmer position. All right. And you let it cook for about maybe like 10 minutes, I would say. All right. Like that. We check the consistency on the batter. And as you can see, it's what we call in Sicily, una pastetta. It's what they call in Japan. Uh, what do they call it in Japan, eh? Toyota. Toyota. So we covered the salmon with the batter. We bread the whole thing. Now, you don't need to season the breadcrumbs because the sauce is going to go over it. So you don't want it to be too salty. Okay. Then we do all four pieces. This is gonna be delicious. They almost wanna make me sing. I know some of you are really looking forward to that. I know my brother in Italy looks forward to that. Volare! <laughs> oh, cantare! Oh, 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 
nella blu, dipinto di blu, felice di stare lassù, con te. So once this is done, I'll drop it in a fryer, excuse the mess, and let's see how it works out. One, two, the fryer should be at about 375 degrees, so it gets all the hot side of the fish nice and seared and all the juices stays in to make the food nice and moist and delicious. I can already see it. Now it's been already almost a minute uh, because the breadcrumbs sometimes tends to kind of uh, cook a little too much. So you just wanted to make sure that maybe a minute, a minute and a half. We'll finish to cook this in the oven for about maybe 10 minutes, okay? Now keep an eye on it. You don't want that to overcook because the salmon needs to be moist inside. So you want to serve her maybe about medium, medium, well, not cook her well done, okay? See you in a bit. Okay, the risotto is almost done, okay? You can tell that uh, uh, it's absorbing, uh, it's almost the whole liquid of the stock. We're gonna let it rest for a little bit. Uh, Usually a risotto alla milanese is served with also buco, which that will be one of our next uh, episode. Uh, today we're just gonna do it with uh, wild caught salmon. All right, we're back. Uh, I'm going to make the sauce that goes with the salmon. And it's a, a simple orange bird block sauce. We have some uh, cream that we are going to reduce. A little bit of white wine, okay? You can use shallots or onion for flavor. We're gonna use some onion. You wanna season that with salt and pepper. And the juice of a half orange. That will go very well with our salmon. The salmon is still in the oven at a temperature of 375 and we said that we're going to keep it in there for about uh, 10 minutes making sure you always keep an eye on it so it won't it won't uh, burn all right we're about ready to finish the burr blanc sauce that is going to go over the fish as you can see it turned into a nice and orangey color and the smell the taste is delicious uh, the way you finish this up is to add one at a time butter you adjust the flame because you don't want to break the sauce. Break meaning the liquid separates from the cream or the butter. Now the one that we use at the restaurant instead of uh, orange has lemon juice. It gives a little more of a tartiness. But for the sandwich special that we're making right now, we're going to use orange. Hey, get bello cavolo! Bello viado! We can almost see the light. We are almost there. The rice is done. The sauce is done. We are going to check on our salmon. And we are going to set it all up. Actually, the plating is the my favorite part of the dish. We are uh, going to choose a nice flat plate. We'll check and the salmon it's ready to go we have it right here uh, in Italy when we use fish we don't like to use cheese but since I've been here I have to tell you you know it sounds actually pretty good so if you don't like it don't do that I like it I'm gonna do it and I think it goes well with this dish so I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, parmigiano in our risotto, you won't even taste it. It just gives a nice flavor anyway. We'll put our, our chopped parsley in for coloring. And here we go. We have the rice. 
kind of put it on the side a little bit. This would be good for one serving. Get a nice piece of salmon. And another piece of salmon. This way. Alright. We'll get our spoon, our bourbon sauce. Orange bourbon sauce. Just drizzle on top of the fish. And a little bit on the plate. Right. We do a little decoration with a little bit of balsamic vinegar reduction, a little bit of chopped tomato, chopped scallion. Decoration, of course. The eyes first and then the mouth, like my father used to say all the time. Wild caught salmon from Alaska, brought from my good friend Ed. I uh, strongly invite you to come and see us at the restaurant, of course. Uh, 29940 Hunter Road in Marietta. And uh, what to say? To the next time. Arrivederci.